The uh, oversubscription that you mentioned at the level of uh, nearly 40 times is quite promising. This is quite a substantial amount of money being mobilized by the market for this uh, upcoming IPO. Uh, I think everybody's excited to see what's going to happen next. My guess is as good as mine. Where is it going to trade? But uh, technically, it's all looking good from here. And uh, fundamentally, this is a very exciting space. Uh, it's innovation in Abu Dhabi. It's innovation in the IPO market. So we're all looking forward to see what's going to happen today, absolutely. I believe there is something like four IPOs in the Abu Dhabi market slated for 2024. Uh, on the whole, in the region, we saw IPOs of $10.7 billion, but that is about half of what we saw in 2022. Uh, for the region as a whole in the UAE, how do you expect IPOs uh, to perform this year in terms of the number of listings, in terms of the funds raised? So let's take a look at the, you know, take a step back and take a look at what happened over the past few years since uh, late 2000. The IPO cycle has been quite, uh, quite exciting here uh, across the region, essentially in Saudi Arabia and the UAE. 2022 was a bumper year by our, uh, uh, you know, estimates. Uh, we think something uh, until this year, something like $50 billion were raised in, in the IPO space in the GCC. Uh, it's all looking good fundamentally uh, top down uh, for this uh, strength and the cycle to continue. I believe there's nearly 30 companies in the uh, pipeline who have you know, stated their intention to float across the GCC. So that's very promising. And, uh, you know, again, fundamentally, whichever way you look at it, there's no reason why this should stop. It's in the interest of everybody to see more IPOs. The regulator gains, the issuers gain, the investors have uh, more opportunities to invest in. So uh, there's no slowing down, it seems, at this point in time. As you say, of course, there's been some slowdown since the height of 2022, but this is a cyclical business and uh, this is normal. In many ways, we've bucked the trend of the international uh, IPO cycle. So. We're still doing relatively well, I would say.